What is up, Wabbits? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today, I have something really cool to show y'all. I have a bunch of Monster High stuff that I've gotten, and I haven't made a video about it yet. Uh, I have a whole box of Monster High stuff that I ended up getting for free on a buy and sell and trade group that I'm in on Facebook. And also, I have some stuff that I bought from a flea market, uh possibly a few months ago like maybe four or five I'm not quite sure but i'm gonna end up showing you everything so yeah let's get right into the video so one doll i actually ended up getting for free which is in really good condition is this great scary reef frankie so she's a little dirty but i can definitely fix her but she's really cool uh she has like an eel uh tail so that's cool but yeah here's great scarier reef frankie and um honestly i like her better than all the other great scarier reef dolls i don't know why i think it's her blue hair but yeah i really like her so that's really cool another doll i ended up getting was mrs halloween wolf so her hair is kind of messy but i could always fix it her face has like a little tiny smudge, but I could definitely fix that also. So, it's nothing too bad, but she seems to have everything on her. She has her little her little belt. She has her shoes on, so that's good. And she's one of my favorite Halloween dolls. Uh I actually think this was one of the first Halloween dolls I ever got when I was younger. So, yeah, she's really cool. Next dolls we have is Perry and I think it's Pearl. I'm not completely sure. I wasn't really into the Great Scary Reef franchise, but, you know, she's definitely going to need some TLC. Um, her hair is completely dyed with... I think it's marker, honestly. And she has a Draculaura hand, I believe. But I think I have a hand that could be a replacement, maybe. But I really like her because, you know, it's a mermaid. And I love mermaid dolls. I don't know why. They're just... They always seem to have a lot of detail, especially on the tails and stuff. Like I'm saying, she has a lot of scales, which is really cool. So, yeah. Next doll we have is a Save Frankie from Freaky Fusion. Pretty sure. But I like her because she ha actually has her teeth. And a lot of times when people are trying to get this doll specifically, she doesn't have any of her teeth. So, but... She has green lipstick on, which I think is cool. And she has a little smudge right here. But, uh, I think that can be fixed. She has her shoes, and she even has her little bracelet right here. Um, I know she's supposed to come with ears, but she didn't. But her hair definitely needs a wash. And she definitely needs some cleaning up like baking soda or something but i like her so that's really cool not monster high but this is an ever after high doll and it's madeline hatter and she is so pretty her hair is super super curly and it needs to be washed but she has basically everything except her shoes she has monster high doll shoes on right now but she even has her tights on and she has her actual hands and she even came with her little teapot so I really like her she doesn't have her headpiece but I have that somewhere in like a little box full of accessories so I don't know I think she's in pretty good condition for a flea market doll anyway but I really really like her so oh also I have my actual Maddie that I played with from when I was little so here she is obviously she has none of her actual clothes on she actually has a different ever after high outfit on i think it's from that one bunny something leblanc i don't know i don't remember her name i was already out of the doll
collecting stuff by then. But she has her real hands. And I think I actually have her outfit in an accessory box as well. So, um, I don't know what earrings she's wearing at all. I really don't know. But yeah, this is the one I played with from when I was little. So can definitely see the difference this one is more tan i don't know if it's because she's dirty or that's silly another ever after high doll raven i don't know exactly which raven doll this is i think it might be i don't know homecoming or something i don't know please don't get upset with me if i don't remember i stopped collecting dolls when i was like 10 or 11 so i don't know but she's one of my favorites i love raven i love her color palette and just all the darker colors the darker theme um her toes are painted so that's cute and her leggings are super adorable they're very sparkly and she has a very beautiful face and her makeup is so gorgeous she's super super pretty but yeah, that's a Raven doll I got from a, a flea market. And then I actually bought this doll from a buy, sell, and trade group that I'm in on Facebook. So, I think I got him for maybe a dollar. I don't remember. But this is a Bratz Boys. And I don't know which Bratz Boy this is. Um, I think it might be Cameron, to be honest. But... You know, he has no clothes on whatsoever, so I'm so sorry about that. But he has, like, doll hair on him because he's been sitting in a bag for weeks. So, but I think that's Raven's hair, actually. But, yeah, here he is. So that's cool, I guess. I actually have a lot of accessories, but I'm going to show you specific ones. So, this is ravens and it's silver and purple so yeah it goes to this raven so and then this is also a part of it i don't know where it goes i think it goes on her head pretty sure so yeah that's really cool and here's honey swamp's belt this is laguna's little sink it goes to her shower set her shower play set i had this when i was younger so, I'm not going to show the mirror so y'all don't see me, but it's so cute. And I remember the actual shower comes with, like, a little loofah, so it's really cool. And then you can see the drain in there, so I like that. And it's so cute because the little faucet is a seahorse, so that's cool. I got that from the flea market also. Here's something Monster High as well. So... I might be completely wrong about this one, but I don't know. I think this is, like, part of the Creepateria or something, like, from either right before the Monster High reboot happened or something, or, like, the Sugar and Scream line. I don't know, but here's the back. It's cool. It has the little bone, and um, it opens clearly. I'm pretty sure I just showed that, but... Yeah, that's cool. I think this is like a little microwave or something. But, yeah, it's super, super cute. And I like all the funky, bright colors. Okay, so here's another thing I got. Um, I got this from the flea market as well. It's an Ever After High uh, part, of, like, playset piece. And this is Briars, I believe. I'm just taking a wild guess from the roses, anyway. But I think it's so pretty, and I don't know. I would use that if I, like, made stop motions. And if y'all ever, like, want to see any stop motions of mine, like, maybe just little short films, I would love to do that. So if y'all would want to see any videos like that, comment down below, because I would enjoy making a stop motion for y'all. Uh, especially since I have all these playset pieces now. Oh, and also... Uh, I got these two for free. I have a huge box of Monster High stuff I got for free. And it's right beside me. But there's so much stuff. Like, 
I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff there is. There is so many, like, accessory pieces, outfits, shoes, um, little playset pieces like this. There is so much in there. And I even got, like, Gulia's little scooter. I'll show y'all in a second. Yes, yeah, so it's here is Miss Glia's scooter. This is so cool. I'm so happy I got this. And I got it for free. So how crazy is that? So I had this not too long ago when I was younger. <sighs> but not too long ago. I mean, maybe like seven years ago. But um, this is super, super cool. I got rid of it a long time ago and recently started regretting it this year. But I'm so happy I ended up getting it back. I don't think I have her little helmet. Um, my sisters might have her helmet. But yeah, that's super cool to have this again. Next playset piece. Um, I don't know what playset this goes to. But I got this at the flea market also. And it's so cute. I like how it has a little oven. has a little sink. And... A little stove so that's really really cute um it clearly has something that attaches to it you can tell from like the little spaces right here but it's cool and in the drain it's shaped like the monster high skelet so that's cool this is why i want to do stop motions i have so many playset pieces and i could make like a really cool little short film with it so i really like it <laughs> yeah so i got this one also um this came with the box that was for free she has a bunch of her pieces that go to her in the box but i'm not even gonna try to dig into that right now there's so much stuff but these are so cool i saw these at toys r us before it um ended up getting closed and I didn't think anything of them. I actually thought they were ugly, but they aren't. They're actually really cool. And I'm pretty sure you can get these for a little cheaper uh, on, like, places like Macari or eBay. So if y'all ever want to end up getting these with all the pieces and it's actually in the box, I recommend going to Macari or eBay for them. But I can't stop. But it's so cool. Here's this Monster High pin that goes to the playset that's over here. Uh, it actually lights up, so that's cool. I forgot if the- yeah, wait. Duh, this is the one that's for, like, hot water to, like, you know, draw on the monster. So, that one's cool. Um, I actually have all the playset pieces that go to this one. They're in that box I got for- free like i said i'm not even gonna begin to dig in there yet i'm gonna have to like take a full day to do that because there's so much stuff in there and i have ordered so many dolls and a bunch of stuff for the channel so i have to find some free time to do all that but i really wanted to record today so yeah oh yeah also Here's another Perry and Pearl doll, but I got this in the box of free stuff as well. Um, it came without the head, but that's fine. I mean, I got it for free, and plus it comes with their outfit, so I can end up putting that on the other doll. But I actually have it right here, if you want to compare the faces. Okay, so that's all I'm going to show for right now. But I will be making a part two of this probably because there is so much stuff and I would love to show y'all everything because it's a lot and it's actually very overwhelming because there's so many pieces, accessories, playset pieces and I didn't even show y'all everything that goes to the one right here. But I have everything that goes to it in that box. So I will be showing you guys soon. And... Sorry, I can't stop doing that, but, you know, um, I really enjoy making these videos, and if you want to see more, please subscribe, please comment down below, uh, for any video suggestions you'd like to see me do, 
And also, please like this video, and I will definitely be making more content. So, I actually ended up getting uh, 1k views on a video, which I'm super happy about. Um, I couldn't have done it without any of you guys. Thank you guys for supporting my channel and watching my videos, because it really means a lot to me, especially since I'm just beginning to make videos. So, thank you guys so, so much, and I really appreciate it. But that's all I'm going to make for right now. Uh, like I said, please comment, subscribe, and like this video. Okay, well, bye guys!